Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how we can run multiple users using Loadrunner. I have created a script which basically books a ticket. If you see here, it goes to the first page, then it logs into the application, then it goes to the flight search, then it goes to the uh, it chooses the flight from date to date from Denver to London. It books the ticket. Then it goes to the next level. It chooses a particular flight. Then it provides uh, the credit card number and books the ticket. So this is the sequence. So if you go here, uh, the, the sequence of operations are shown in the snapshots. If you click on the snapshot window, at the bottom you will see this. There's a page view. If you click on the page view, and if you click on each of these uh, line items, uh, what is the page or the response for that particular line? This is how the response appeared when you record it. So if you go back to another line, this is the page where you choose the flight. If you click on that, based on this is not the screenshot for this page. This is the response of this particular request. So Loadrunner sends this request, then that is the response of this. So to see this, you need to go to this snapshot panel, click on that. At the bottom, click on the page view. If you click on the HTTP data, it will show you the request body, response body, etc. So this is a basic booking ticket script. So what I want to do is, I want to run 10 users booking the ticket. Right now, I have logged into this application. I see there is no ticket available in this. Now, if I run this script, it will run one user. It will book one ticket. How do I run multiple users? For that, you need to go to Programs, Start, Controller. You start the controller, pull in the script. This is IE Flights. Uh, script. So what I want to do is I want to create a load testing scenario. To that scenario I pull the script in then I configure the number of users. So this is the controller part. Now this is there are two things manual scenario and goal oriented scenario. I go to this manual scenario then we go to this IE flights. You select that script click on this add, add to this scenario then click OK. Now it shows you uh, a runtime configuration. Let the screen fully appear. So this is the controller screen. You have got the groups, service level agreements, scheduler, then the graph for the schedule. There are three tabs at the bottom, design, run and diagnostics. Diagnostics is a separate license you need to buy from HP. If I go to the design, first I want to run five users to book the tickets. Now I go here, I go to this basic schedule, I click on the basic schedule. Once I click the basic schedule, it shows me the users. Now I go here and then give five users as uh, the number of users. Now once I do that, I save this scenario. Let me save this scenario. I run this. I run this scenario, click on this. So I have pulled in the script to the scenario. I configured five users under basic schedule. Now I run. When I run this, it creates, I click on this users. It, it's all the five users are running. It creates five users. You could see the ID with different uh, numbers, not continuous like one, two, three, four, five. It is just an ID. It is not the, is not the exact sequence number for that. So five different users now ran the script in background. Each one finished one one iteration. So what I want is since five users ran, I want to know whether five tickets are booked. I go back here, click on this itinerary. Now you could see uh, a total of five scheduled flights. Five, five tickets are booked. Now I want to run it for 10 users. Let me cancel all the tickets. There are no tickets available. I go back to the controller. I click, I come to the design tab. I give 20 users. I just give the number 20 users. Once I give 20 users and run, you click on this view users. Now 
load runner controller has created 20 virtual users and all the 20 virtual users will run the same script and you will see at the end of it 20 tickets getting booked so once you create the script come back to the uh, controller configure any number of users depending upon how many number of users you want you can start running these users now you could have noticed when we ran 5 users all finished pretty quickly but we ran when we are running 20 users it is taking more than 30 seconds so that is a typical uh, load delay because uh, when there is a uh, when there's an increase in the number of users obviously there will be some increase in the response time if the system completely slows down you could see the elapsed time more 5 users finished quickly whereas 20 users they take time to finish so now if I go back to this application click on this itinerary it, it takes more time to load look at this it is still previously it used to come pretty fast now 20 users are already hitting the system so when I go to this application then click on it to get the response application is taking more time this is definitely expected out of any load testing uh, execution now all the users are slowly finishing when all the users finish let me go and then click the results will come faster so now 20 users finished all users passed I come back to this application now I click on this itinerary see it, it came pretty fast now you could see 20 tickets booked so 20 users ran 20 tickets got booked so the fundamental part of load runner is you create the script in view user generator pull that script into a scenario in controller configure the number of users run and once it runs come back to the application whether all the data has been posted this is very much essential in load testing so we are able to run multiple users without any coding just like that it is pretty easy but for actual commercial purposes you need to get the licenses from HP so thanks for attending this session we will continue with load runner in subsequent sessions thank you for visiting openmentor.net